Okay, welcome back. Hopefully this time Roby won't, won't distract me so much. We'll, we'll see how that goes. Anyway, what's the answer to the question? What question? Right here. Find x. Well, okay, I know it's right there, but that's not what they mean. They mean calculate x. It's pretty simple. It's just the Pythagorean theorem. So all you got to do is square 12, 144, square 7, 49, add them together. Well, 144 plus 50 would be 194. So if you're only adding 49, 193. What's the square root of 193? Well, the square root of 196 is 14. So it's got to round off to 13.9. Check it out on the calculator. Talking about 0.9, when I was in grade 5, I remember I almost got into a fight with my friend's older brother, who was in grade 7, because I insisted that 9.9 .9 repeated was almost 10, and he insisted that it was exactly 10. Who was right? Let's find out. So let's say we call x 9.9 .9 repeated. Then what's 10 times x? Well, you just move the decimal over one place when you multiply by 10, so that'll be 99.9 .9 repeated. Because in both cases, the nines go forever. There's not one less nine here. There's just as many nines, a nines an infinite number of nines. If we subtract, we get negative 9x equals negative 90, because the point nines, which go forever and ever, cancel out. And then if I divide by negative 9 on both sides to solve for x, right, Romeo? I get, I'll do it over here, x equals, wow, exactly 10. So my friend was right. In those days, guys used to fight over important things like mathematics. Now they fight over things like girls. There you go. And what are you up to, Romeo? See you next time.